All right, this is gonna be a quick video. Uh, I just finished doing a uh, tour of this house that you see in front of me. This is a Kaylee plan built by Cheshmar Home. That is on the market right now as of mid May 2024. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click up here. Uh, but I'm on my way to lunch and I decided, hey, uh, let me go and video this neighborhood again. I've done that once before. I'll put that video right up here. But things have changed a little bit as more homes are coming in. And when I'm mentoring new agents, I, one of the things I always tell them is I always look for reasons to do a video and not a reason not to do a video because I have found quite a few agents that are like, oh yeah, I don't really want to do a video and there's no real need to. I'm like, eh, it's, it provides information out to people and especially if you're coming from the west coast or the east coast and you're not super familiar with the area well you want all the information and that's what i try to do with these videos so hopefully you're watching this and you like what you see and you've hit that like button and subscribe to my channel already but i can tell this community is of garden ridge in garden ridge this Highmore estates has lots and lots of oak trees um some topography but not a crazy amount of topography uh, you got your community uh, mailboxes there. No big fancy amenities here. This community is kind of geared for people who want to be out in the country but not far out at all because we are literally, uh, Church, Texas is just a uh, 10 minutes down the road that way. Or maybe even less than that, maybe eight minutes. And you can be in New Braunfels in 15 minutes. But these are some of the homes that are already built, people have already moved into. And Chessmar owns, build, is the only builder in there, is one of the construction managers there for Chessmar, checking on their stuff. Or maybe one of the subcontractors. But Chessmar is definitely one of my favorite production home builders. And all these lots in this community are gonna be either a half acre or 0.75 acres. Uh, there's a new community also coming literally on the other side of uh, Bat Cave Road. Yes, that's the name of it. There is a uh, bit Bat Cave in uh, Garden Ridge and that has a lot of uh, bats in it, but they're not dangerous bats. These are good bats. They eat up bugs and I don't like a whole bunch of bugs around. So it's good to have bats come through and they only come out at night and they don't bother people at all. So don't don't freak out about that but you can see lots uh, a bunch of lots are still available um, this middle section you will have uh, like people back behind you I'll make sure I uh, I might have that on the front of the video thinking about it because I didn't do my little intro pictures uh, kind of showing off where these communities are and how the house sits but it's not gonna be a big mega community um, there are some houses that uh, are getting close to being finished um but like i said that uh kaylee kaylee plan i just videoed they are desperate and ready to sell that house but you also have lots of really good lots in here this this community does have natural gas high speed internet this is their model home which i've done a tour of as well and those folks I probably should talk to them, but who knows? I don't, they might probably already have a realtor and I don't want to pester people. But here's the sign, Heimer Estates. Um, it's off Bat Cave Road. <clears throat> if you're military, uh, I go uh, like I am. Uh, the Shirts Medical Clinic is little, and I-35 is just down this way. You could be there in 10 minutes. Um, see that entrance there? That goes to the other community where you have Monticello. Sitterly and Toll Brothers all building on one acre lot communities. I've already done a video tour of that. You know what? Yeah, there's always a reason to do a video. Let's go ahead and drive through there. No need to split them all up. I've done right motorcycle tours of both, but this is kind of a follow-up tour to see how things are going right now. But gorgeous views coming into this community. This is Enchanted something. Enchanted Bluffs? Yeah, Enchanted Bluff. So this is gonna be Monticello's model home out here. And all these builders are building their top tier products. Uh, Sitterly, they're building their top tier products out here too. So I'm assuming that's their, gonna be their model home that's coming soon. 
and Toll Brothers is going to be building their model home out here as well. These are going to be one acre lot communities. There are no private lots. I had uh, somebody reach out to me asking about that, but the builders already own all these lots. Um, there's going to be a couple of custom home builders that are building out here, but they already own the lot and they plan to have the parade of homes out here. Yeah, there's uh, Dale Sawyer going to be building their beautiful home. But yeah, and uh, I'm not real familiar with that one, Macaw. Well, that's like a real modern home coming in. But yeah, they are going to be having the Parade of Homes and Joffet. I don't know if Joffet's going to be building out here like how Sitterly and everybody else is. Joffet does some custom home stuff, but they also do some production homes. So they do a little bit of both. But Monticello, they, uh, they're one of my favorite production home builders. But I do like this community. I do like Garden Ridge a lot. It's a very quiet community. Uh, not much to it. Let me see if I can go ahead and turn around here. I'm not going to do a whole tour of this place. Because I've already done that before. I just want to do a quick follow up because most of the construction is going on at the entrance of this community. But these are going to be some big, beautiful homes. I expect the price tag to be in the 900s to uh low one millions um because yeah that they're they're building the biggins and no it's not these super biggins they're not the super high-end luxury like the diamante homes but if you're looking for a production home builder that's been around for a while and don't want to deal with the architect plans and a whole bunch of crazy stuff that oh they're building that with brick that must be a is that sitterly yeah, it's literally. Um, brick, I don't know, it's interesting. Uh, two different tiers of home. Uh, the higher end homes out here, you're going to see a lot of stone and stucco. You don't see a lot of brick. But yeah, Sitterly did the same thing in uh, Marilomas and Bernie. Alright, let's get on to Bat Cave Road. And I can just kind of show you a little bit more of the countryside of Garden Ridge. Uh, they, there hasn't been a lot of new construction out here for a little while. So you're going to be able to see that this is Garden Ridge was kind of where the money was back in the 80s and 90s. And there hasn't been a lot going on out here. So you are going to see a little bit older homes. Um, but it's you're also going to see homes with quite a bit of land out here because back in the day that was a lot cheaper than it is now so you're going to see some people with some nice size ranches and stuff and uh if you're not familiar with the area natural bridge caverns is also just down the road from us here too so they do have a really cool giant cave thing there natural bridge caverns just keeps expanding it's huge definitely a draw for people to go check out if you like going through some big caves but yeah this isn't going to be a crazy long video i just thought like hey while well, i'm going out to one of my favorite places to get lunch at it's called raptitude it's just down the road here and uh it's like hey just go shoot a video of it because it's beautiful having uh misting rains clouding and humidity it's been really annoying so i haven't shot a whole lot of videos lately because we haven't had blue sky for a while yesterday we had some good rain come through cleared all the humidity out all the clouds out so now we got blue sky low humidity we're uh what's our temperature 88 degrees right now which isn't bad for middle of may um but the humidity is non-existent, so I'm barely sweating at all compared to if there was humidity. So if you're considering moving here, yes, it does get hot during the summer. And this is usually when the weather starts kind of ticking up some. Our springs are usually quite pleasant. Winter is very pleasant, and so is the fall. But come May time, you start getting into high 80s and uh, 90s and... Uh, that's not so bad if you're on a low humidity day like today and it comes and goes. When people are asking about the humidity, I tell people, well, that all depends. 
Are you coming from a place like Colorado where there's no humidity? And or in Arizona where there's like no humidity? Or are you coming from a place like Florida or Houston where there's just tons of humidity? People that I've talked to that came from Houston, they're like, oh my god, there's like no humidity here. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Okay, to my left is Bat Cave Road, and that's an easy way to get up into New Braunfels as well. We're on now 3009. I drive this road way too often going out to Vintage Oaks and uh, I take this road and I'm going heading towards to get up to 1863 and 46. But we're just gonna hop on here and blue bonnets galore out here in April. Uh, might be back behind me. There's a spot where everybody was stopping on the side of the road. Uh, to take blue bonnet pictures because this road has tons of blue bonnets on it during the month of April. So, or late. This time they came a little early. They came in uh, March. All right. This is the brand new high school from uh, Kamal ISD. That is a beautiful school, uh, Davenport High School. Um, it's a really nice school. It just opened up maybe two years ago. But here we are, we're already at the Raptitude place. And uh, I'll go and kind of video this once I get in here too, because I do like this place. They have live music. Usually some guy on a guitar, with a guitar playing some music. They got a little bitty small bar in there. Uh, that used to be a cigar shop, but I'm not sure what that is now. But Raptitude's such a cool place, especially when the weather's nice to hang outside. Everybody sits out. Oops. Talking so much I forgot to downshift. But you can see people out here sitting outside already. You're going to see find quite a few places like this in this part of Texas where you have like your covered place. A little bit of an indoor but a lot of outdoor place. You can see different stages where they have stuff. Very kid friendly. You got a little playground set where they'll come play at. Alright, let's head on inside. All right, this is a little bar. Hope the sound comes through. I'm not doing this all fancy dancy because I don't have my mics with me. But you can see we do our live music on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's a kind of an indoor outdoor place. But it is a beautiful day here in Texas. So you're gonna see a few people out filming this on a Tuesday. So not a lot of people out today. All right, I had the Alamo wrap and I'm about to eat it up. Yo. I just finished eating. It was absolutely delicious as always. But yeah, this is one of my favorite places to come to. Uh, right off 3009. Uh, in between like Garden Ridge and the Church, Texas area. Alright, if you've been to the Rapt Raptitude restaurant in Garden Ridge, please leave a comment in, down in the comment box. i uh, be happy to hear what you thought about it. I know it's one of my favorites. I think you would to be too. Anyways, if you're looking for a real estate that's in real estate agents that's in this area, feel free to reach out to me. My uh, information will be in the description box. I'll be happy to help. And I'm gonna throw a link to the uh, Raptitude website in the uh, description box as well. Anyways, time for me to get on home. All right, take care now. Oh yeah, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and all that other good stuff. All right, take care now, bye.